I'm Chrissy Bass, and I'm going to brief you on the overview of the culture of the Iraqi people. First, we're, we're going to talk about population, tradition and hospitality, punctuality, tribal ties, traditional dress, religion, ISIS, and a religious holiday. To get started, we're going to talk about population. 77% of Iraq population is Arabic, 19% is Kurds. Kurds are exclusively, exclusively live in the north near Turkey. The official language of Iraq is Arabic. There are other languages that are spoken in Iraq, but they are usually spoken within the different ethnic groups. Um, Iraqi Arabic is spoken uh, within the Mesopotamian area, which is basically south, basically south of Baghdad, and also spoken in Iran and Syria. Um, tradition. Iraqi culture is rich in tradition and in hospitality. If you get invited to someone's house, it's considered an honor, and it should never be turned down. Punctuality. Punctuality is not considered very important to the Iraqis. There's actually a phrase called inshallah, in meaning God willing. Uh, if you're asked, you know, when are you going to be there, inshallah, I'll be there when I'm there, uh, no rush. Also, tribal ties. Tribal ties are extremely important to Iraqi people. Iraqi people tend to take what their elderly, uh, the tribal elders um, have to say and their decisions over what the government officials have to say. This is why, the, um, this is why it's very important that, our, that the tribal leaders and the government talk in order to make everything work smoothly. The next thing I'm going to show you is the traditional dress you'll see in Iraq. Um, the traditional dress with females tend to be fully covered up, as you'll see here, and the men with the headdress, that kind of thing. However, in recent years, the younger generations tend to, it's tending to wear more Western wear, something you more typically see in the States these days. Religion. The main religion in Iraq is Islam, about 95% of the population, and they are majority Shia. The, Sh the Sunni minority had control during the Saddam Hussein era, which created a lot of attention or a lot of tension. Other religions that are in Iraq are Christian and y Yazidi. Yazidi is very isolated and has been oppressed for many years in the history, and, are con and have been considered um, worship, worship, worshiping the devil. Um, ISIS. Uh, is a global terrorism or global terrorism group that is largely made up of Sunni Muslims that have been trying to push the Yazidis out of Iraq for many years. Um, one of the major one and finally one of the major holidays that happen in Iraq that um, one of the major holidays that happen in Iraq is called Ramadan. It happens the ninth month of the lunar calendar, or the ninth month of the Muslim calendar, and it's a big celebration throughout the month, which concludes, which concludes with a big celebration at the end of the month called Id al-Fitar. Uh, this concludes my briefing. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thank you.